Good evening and welcome to Wednesday Evening Prayer on the Eve of the Ascension. My name is Scott Dully and I'm the Parish Priest at St Peter's East Maitland. And I'm praying this evening on Wanarua Country and our family pays its respects to Elders past and present. Evening Prayer this evening commences on page 404 of A Prayer Book for Australia. The psalm set for this evening is Psalm 99, which begins on page 325 of the prayer book. Let's pray together. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all people shall see it together. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. We'll say the opening canticle together. God, be gracious to us and bless us and make your face to shine upon us that your way may be known upon earth, your salvation among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy for you judge the peoples with equity and govern the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Then the earth will bring forth its increase, and God, our own God, will bless us. You, O Lord, will bless us, and all the ends of the earth will fear you. The day is now past, and the night is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father of lights, receive the prayer and praise we offer you as our evening sacrifice. Make us a light for all the world, delivered by your goodness from all the works of darkness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Psalm for this evening is Psalm 99, which we might say by alternate verses. The Lord is King. Let the nations tremble. He is enthroned upon the cherubim. Let the earth quake. The Lord is great in Zion. He is high above all nations. Let them praise your great and terrible name, for holy is the Lord. The mighty one is king and loves justice. You have established equity. You have dealt righteousness and justice in Jacob. O exalt the Lord our God and bow down before his footstool, for he is holy. Moses and Aaron among his priests and Samuel among those who call upon his name. They called to the Lord, and he answered. He spoke to them from the pillar of cloud. They kept to his teachings and the law that he gave them. You answered them, O Lord our God. You were a forgiving God to them, and pardoned their wrongdoing. O exalt the Lord our God, and bow down towards his holy hill, for the Lord our God is holy. Let us pray. God of all power and might, the author and giver of all good things, graft in our hearts the love of your name, increase in us true religion, nourish us with all goodness, and of your great mercy keep us in the same. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The reading set for this evening is from the letter to the Colossians, commencing at chapter 2, verse 20. If, we, if with Christ you died to the elemental spirits of the universe, why do you live as if you still belong to the world? Why do you submit to regulations? Do not handle, do, do not taste, do not touch. All these regulations refer to things that perish with use. They are simply human commands and teachings. These have indeed an appearance of wisdom in promoting self-imposed piety, humility and severe treatment of the body. But they have no value in checking self-indulgence. So if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. 
when Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. We'll say the Magnificat together. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour, who has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. God has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. The Lord has shown strength with his arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. God has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember the promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Eternal God, whose Son Jesus Christ is the way, the truth and the life, grant that we may walk in his way, rejoice in his truth and share his risen life, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Gracious God, we give you thanks for this day as it has been. And as we come to evening, we pray that you will be with us and that we will know your presence. We give you thanks for the beauty of your creation, for everything around us that reminds us of your goodness and love. Lord, teach us to live in harmony with all of your creation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give you thanks for your holy church and we pray for your church throughout the world. We pray for our church, particularly in this diocese. We pray for our bishops, Peter, Sonia and Charlie. We pray for our schools and agencies and all of our faith communities. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we hold before you the communities in which we live. We pray that our communities may be places of welcome for all who would seek to find a home within them. We pray for those who are leaders in our communities. We also pray for our First Nations peoples particularly the Awabakal, Birupai, Dark and Young, Gaywegal, Kamilaroi, Warimi and Wanarua peoples. We pray for the ongoing work of reconciliation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we hold before you those who are sick in body, mind or spirit. We give thanks for those who care for us in our time of need. We pray for all who care for others. Gracious God, be with us. Bring us your healing and your peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we give you thanks for the faithful departed for holy men and women of every time and place whose lives stand as an example and inspiration to us. And we pray that with all your saints, 
we may be brought to a joyful resurrection and the fulfilment of your kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Light in our darkness, Lord, we pray, and in your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night for the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May our Lord Jesus Christ and God our Father comfort our hearts and establish them in every good work and word. Amen. Have a pleasant evening, everyone.